All right, so we're in the uh, mystery padlock room. Let's get our uh, our handy pipe. The pipe feels sturdy. We're gonna s we're gonna take this pipe and we're gonna smash it on the padlock door. The padlock. Padlock. All right, Locke, you might not give in to lockpicks or keys, but let's see how you do against a pissed off paranormal investigator. You gather up all your strength and prepare to hit the lock as hard as you can. Clang, to your slight surprise, the padlock breaks off and the door creaks open. Ooh, we did it. All right, let's see what's in here. The door is now open. Here we go. We're going into venturing into the unknown. Okay. Save this as. Padlock room. What is this? Odd marks? There are some odd markings on the wall. They look like scratch marks with a dried red substance on them. Let's investigate them. Running your fingers across the marks, you realize they, are made, they were made by human fingers. How about this? Rope. Oh, rope. What's this? Window. Looking at the window, you shudder to think that a man jumped out of it, only to be impaled by the spikes below. You better not get near the window if you can avoid it. Let's pull the, pull the rope. It's a rope which you deduce is connected to the belt side. Let's pull the rope. You give the rope a few quick tugs. What next? Let's do it again. Give the rope a few good tick tuck quick tugs. Still one more time. back to the top floor landing All right let's go downstairs and see what's what the rest of the gang is doing what whoa, 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 what's that what's that oh it's it's just a padlock let's go downstairs and see what the rest of the gang is doing Jeez, the plot thickens. What the rest of the gang is doing. This room. A voice from inside the room says, "Come in." Oh, there they are, Mr. Jordan. Back so soon? Hey, Ben. So, how's the research going? We're making some progress. Yes, but the preparations are going to take some time. Save our progress. Otto and Alice. Alice, Otto, could we talk for a minute? Of course. What, what do you want to know? Uh, how's Madame Tilly? Is Madame Tilly getting any better? She has not done much for the past couple of hours. We're, I'm starting to get a little worried about her, actually. Do not worry too much. Once we expel the spirit, she will be fine. 
Her hypersensitivity seems to be preventing her from making a recovery right now, since the horror is sending out negative energies. Uh, Simon. I can't help but feel somehow responsible for what happened to Simon. Oh, Ben, don't blame yourself. There was nothing you could have done. I could have stopped him from going ahead by himself. Miss Wilkins is right. Simon was a very strong-willed person. If he wanted to go ahead alone, you would not have been able to hold him back. Please do not feel responsible. It is no way your fault. <coughs> Thanks, guys. I guess you're right. Ghost expulsion. Exactly how are we going to get the ghosts out of the house? It's more than just getting it out of the house. We will be sending it to another dimension. Oh, all right. According to what we've been reading, opening up a portal to a so-called dimension of death is just a matter of turning the spirit's energies against it. You mean just ye yelling at it to go into the light? Something like that, only not as diplomatic. I sure hope this works. It must. Top floor room. Well, I did it. I managed to get the door to the horror room open. Really? That's great. How did you manage it? It's amazing how a little rage in a metal pipe can take you. Then let us all go upstairs and see what we can do about this ghost. All right, guys. This is it. It feels strange in here. Almost like the air was charged with electricity. Yes, I feel it too. We are definitely not alone here. So how are we going to get it, the attention of the horror? That's what we were researching. Otto and I found two ancient texts. One to summon spirits and how to open a gateway to the dimension of death. The summoning must be performed by a female and the portal opened by a male. That's interesting. Those crazy ancients knew their stuff, didn't they? Indeed. Whenever you're ready, Miss Wilkins. Alice prepares herself, then begins chanting a verse in Latin. Here we go. Get ready. Tempus eternum mortis eternum mortis cus hoc eventum effect mortis sub quio recenti spiritu eventum. Nothing seems to be happening. Well, I'm <coughs> kind of relieved, actually. I was worried of floating skeleton with an apron and a machete was going to materialize and kill us all. Suddenly you hear footsteps coming up the stairs. Uh oh. Listen. Someone is coming. Get ready. Who knows what might come through the door. Oh, Madam Rosenquist, you're feeling better? Uh, Alice, I, I don't know about you, but right now the last word I use to describe her is, uh, quote unquote, better. Silence, martyrs! I want you, but you still insist on staying in my house! Now that I have possessed the hearing of this human, I can destroy you all, as I should have done when you first arrived. Squaddle, quick, open the portal! Guyas Prada is. Silence! Keep it up, Otto. I can handle this. Uh oh. Semper fi priam. Out of my way, Marto! Whoa! Levitated! Alice! Sir Tom Mort Sobesti. You may have opened the portal, but we shall see how long it lasts after I've killed you. Uh oh. Shit. Save our progress. Save this as exorcism. 